Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, Shaman Smash. See how much farther I can get. <coughs> Got two Argent Commanders, that's always pretty good. Two Fork Lightnings, one Lightning Storm, one Fire Elemental, one Hex. The mirror match. This is where we're going to see it go downhill. But the elements will destroy you. Not good. Expensive, expensive. You're pretty good early game, and you might be good if I don't draw anything else cheaper. Um, that is not what I wanted to see, really. But at least I can make totems. Fast. You appear to be a 1-1. One, one. Really, I had to get that one? I would have preferred a 0-2 totem to deal with his 1-1. One, one. Now, now he has the choice of whether to trade or not. Give me a quest. Ew. Oh, nice. That works out well, because now I can fork lightning and kill them both, because he didn't play another spell after him. Very worthwhile to get rid of the questing adventure before he becomes threatening in some manner. I could do a flame tongue totem and attack, or I can make another totem and then next turn flame tongue and hit twice, and it'd be the same damage. So if they both survive, so well, I'll be losing out one turn damage. But no, taunt totem, pretty good. I'll take that. Yes. That's what I get for saying yes. Okay. Now we have a question. Flame Tongue, they're not even... They're Together they could barely kill him. But that's probably what I should do anyway. I don't see any anything I can do that would be better. I could coin this out and then... It doesn't even beat him without... Yeah, no. I guess we'll just kill him with both our totems. Use my flame tongue totem pretty vulnerable out there. I don't have another one in my hand to buff it with, and even if I did, it would probably die. Whatever it attacks. That looks like a good target for fork lightning, but let's figure out how the mana works before we jump to conclusions. I could coin out a, an Argent Commander and hit something for six. That's pretty sick. Although, in one turn, I would be able to coin out the Stormwind Champion. So I could actually just play Sengen Shield Master, And then I could fork Lightning, but then I wouldn't be able to coin out the thing. But on the other hand, that would kill this guy. And it's extra annoying. It how valuable is it? Nah. But how annoying is it that I could kill this guy? It's pretty annoying. What to do? Very tempting. I think I might do that. It also makes this guy a 5-5, five five, so if nothing happens to my totem, then this guy can't fight him. So yeah, probably stupid locking two mana that way. I'll always shaman math with the mana locking. No. Oh, okay. As tempting as killing the flame tongue totem is, I think I would have been tempted to do it the other way. I guess this thing survives this way, but I don't know. Alright. That's a 6 5. That is potentially a problem. I might have to just put out a flame tongue and then you use him to kill it before things can go some other way. Uh, I'm not going to use the coin, or am I? If I use the coin, I can do this and the Jungle Panther, and then the next turn I can Storm and Champion or Baron Geddon, depending on which seems more worthwhile. What to do? That may be good. 
or I can make a totem, see what it is, and then do the trade. Uh. I think we're going to coin out the panther. Now there's a question. Now this guy's only got three toughness. I should use him to attack and not risk it. So yeah. And I'll coin out the panther. It's kind of sacrificing my totem because I'm sure he'll find some way to finish it. But if the panther survives, if he doesn't get killed by an area spell, then next turn I can play a storm and champion and give him plus one plus one before he attacks. Oh, that would do it. Ooh, annoying. Yeah, no, it looks like it's going to be the Baron Geddon plan instead. All those things have two toughness. This guy will unfortunately be sacrificed. It's for the greater good. Or, if not good, then Geddon. It's for the greater Geddon. Because that was card advantage. Gonna get hexed. Not hexed, but Elemental can stand up to him pretty good. Wind Fury Crazy Elemental. Wow. Now that's blocking a lot of his mana for next turn. I can spell break it, but how do I want to handle this? If I buff Baron Geddon, he can kill that, but he won't survive. If I spell break this guy, then I'll be ahead in creatures, and I'll be ahead in hit points if I just go and start beating on my opponent. So that's looking kind of tempting. Uh, Argent Commander, there's no way I can get him to kill that. Still just four damage, it's not going to work out. Spellbreaker does just barely survive this, so that's probably what I want to do. Your magic shall not save you. Yeah, make a totem. Taunt totem would be awesome, but actually it doesn't matter because it's going to die. Why would I even bother? So I'm going to hit you, and make sure I have more stuff on the table, even though she's going to almost die. The objective is to force him to kill Baron Geddon with his Earth Elemental. Oh, that's no good. God damn it. Yeah, he, he doesn't really want to race, is the thing. This is unfortunate, though. So, Baron Geddon hits me for 9, right, the 7 plus the 2, That's with, if he doesn't get Wind Fury or something. So I would be at 14, whereas I hit him for 4, and he hits himself for 2, and another 2 from the Lepernome, 4, 5, 6, 8. I don't know, this is not looking quite right. I want to be able to dark iron him and then do next do that like six. So maybe what I do is Stormwind Champion. That makes my totem survive unless I get the one one, which would be dumb. And Levernome who will just die, but he'll throw damage on the pile. We'll we'll try this. Totem? Oh, I can't totem and Levernome. Well, crap. We're gonna totem anyway in the hopes I get one that can survive. The taunt totem would be awesome. Nope. So does he trade Baron Geddon for this guy, or does he now have a Hex, which would be annoying, or a Taunt, which would be pretty annoying. God damn. Crazy Rochambeau competition. Windspeaker, hello. Oh, yeah. That means I can make this win. Hooray! Because I got 10 mana now. Place Argent Commander. Smack. Wind Speaker. 
Wind Fury him. That's why I like these guys. I like the cards that give Wind, Wind Fury to something that is already in play and ready to attack. The creatures that have Wind Fury built in are usually not worth their cost. All right. I really only have 95 gold if I just got 100 gold. I don't know. We're going to play one more game for the video and then try and figure that out. Pretty sure I had just a quest. Should have been worth a hundred gold. I don't know. Maybe it's only worth sixty. It's do a hundred damage, but I thought it was actually worth a hundred gold too. Guess not. versus <sighs> Malfurion. A druid. That'll be different. For Doomhammer. These are both very good starting cards. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep the Wind Speaker, but I'm going to get rid of the Wind Fury. He's at least a guy, so he might work out okay. Oh, I should have pitched him too, just have more chance to get cheaper stuff. But I'm, that's the thing, he's a 3-3 he's a three, three for 4. He's not that expensive. He's not that like far down the road that I'll be able to cast him. I think our plan is going to go a lot like Stormforged Axe and then Bloodsail Raider, which will actually come out as a 4-3 for 2, which is just fine. That's like a succubus that doesn't make you discard a card at random. Uh, yeah, so we'll just play the Axe and use it to kill that guy. What the? means I take damage, but it allows my organ to stay alive, and then probably just force the druid to spend his next turn kung fuing it. And he still takes one damage from doing that. Yeah, you're not going to do a whole lot more on your turn, though, if you're doing that. Oh, okay, that's kind of annoying. What do we got? Could coin out the unbound elemental, but no, we're going to play Blood Sail Raider. And I'm not going to hit him for two. It's not like the eight uses on Doom on Doomhammer. Like I, I would like to you get more use out of this. Like I can kill that shattered sun cleric. That's an item. Ooh, all my best laid plans. I could coin her out. It's not very exciting. Elements guide me. I could play him or I make a totem, but I can't do both unless I waste my coin, and I'd rather use the coin for one of these big guys, I think. So, yeah, we'll play him. He's survival. I hate leaving one mana unspent, but I also don't really want a coin just for a totem, which I probably should at this point. I don't know. Where shall I strike? That is a big bear. I can't fork lightning him. Doesn't work that way. I also can't coin out those other guys yet. Very annoying. Giving him Wind Fury is useless because he's going to die the first time he hits it. Huh. Yeah, I as much as I hate it, I might just have to play her and not attack, basically. Just see what I'm left with in the next turn. At least if he plays another creature, I can fork lightning. That's not a creature. Don't do that. Oh, it's also not a creature. Really don't do that. Oh, man. Alright, well, I guess the only thing I can do is coin out Baron Geddon, who can do two damage to that. Oh, Baron Geddon. Will you ever change? 
That should at least cause some concern. Plus, I can wind speaker him if my opponent doesn't put out another big taunt. In fact, I could go wind speaker and flame tongue totem. It'd be kind of sick. Ah, he's gonna Leroy him. That works. Still, I got to kill something with his ability, and now I've got two whelps that I can flame tongue. So, could be worse. I could flame tongue them, or I could play the Stormwind Champion. He would make them 2-2. But, yeah. I think I'm going to opt for the flame tongue, because then I can just trade a 1-1 one, one and kill this guy. I wonder. Because I have this in my hand, I think I'm going to play the Wind Speaker as well, actually. Normally I would save him for that, but I can always Wind Fury this guy with the, with the actual spell. So I'm going to kill you. Play him over here, Wind Fury this. Yeah, so what kind of crazy AoEs you have for me now? Ah, you're gonna do that. Seems reasonable. Anything else? Guess you want to kung fu this, that would make sense. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Oh, what to do? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stab this guy. Elements guide me. So never have time for totems. Like you're supposed to be making totems all the time and never end up doing it. But there's always such good stuff to play. Now, there are a lot of ways the next turn can go wrong for my opponent. He's gotta like eliminate something. I don't know if that's good enough. That's a big dude, but yeah. You got 19 health, 12 plus 4, 16. You got two fork lightnings, wow. I can't even use them both because the first one's gonna kill him and then I won't have a target. I think I'm probably gonna want to use him to kill that guy. And it just go beat down with this. So let's do that. I could have tried for a spell power totem, but it wouldn't make any difference if this is what I'm doing. Although now I can't play the spellbreaker, that was kind of dumb. Should probably save him for removal anyway. This guy will win the game next turn if he doesn't die. So I just have to stop whatever my opponent uses to stop him. Is it a taunt? Is it going to kill him? Silence. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, you. That's exactly what I was... I was seriously thinking that in my head, because that was what I needed to draw. Argent commanders do generate a lot of victories. I have not played that many games with Shaman. All my other classes are getting close to level 30. Okay. Four wins, one loss. Not too shabby. And let's see how much further we can push this next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you.